Beam down smoke. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nilo and today we're going to be talking about something going on with CS.money. So this is obviously a little bit different than the videos that I usually make, although I did make one on Bitskins a little while back that was calling them out on something shady that they did. But uh, this is something that you need to be aware of when you're, you know, using CS Money. It's a very popular site, so I want to make sure that everybody's clear that this is actually currently happening and is not resolved at the current moment. And uh, I will be updating this in the comments section below, so if you are watching this video a little bit later, take a chance to go check the comments and see if I have updated since then, since the creation of this video. And uh, we will go ahead and get straight into this. All right, so on the Global Offensive Trade subreddit, someone made a post titled, CS Money Stole Two Items From Me. And uh, this is their response. Basically, as a quick TLDR, because I don't want to go, you know, too deep into this, I, I'll use the details a little bit later. Basically, what ended up happening was this guy listed a 5.7 case hardened for $200 and, and, and an op red line for also about $100. And uh, he actually was told that the items were overpriced, and CS Money took the items and gave him like a very, very low percentage of what he, he had originally listed them for as a refund. And they did not give him his items back. He did request to have his items given back and they said no. They said that they uh, already have, you know, uh, the developers that said that the items were overpriced and he's not going to be able to get them back because they are overpriced. Now that is not explicitly stated in the rules of CS Money. If you overprice your items by their standards, then you do not have your items taken away from you and you're given a small refund. You're given the items back if they're, you know, too obscenely overpriced or they break a rule or something like that, then you'll get the items back. You're not supposed to get them just taken from you and uh, you get nothing in compensation. And like these, the amount of money that he got out of these skins is hilariously lower than what he originally listed them for. And he's uh, contacted their support multiple times and he's gotten the same message about the developers choosing the prices. And that's really, really messed up. So let's go a little bit more into detail now. So as you can see here, they said that the refund they gave him was the correct pricing because the developer said the skins were overpriced. Now that's completely wrong. There's no reason that the developers can just decide what the correct price of an item should be and you should get like the refund in a certain amount of the, uh, at a certain percentage of the value of the skins. You should just get the skins back if they think they're overpriced and not, you know, available for the site itself. You should just get the skins back in the first place. You shouldn't get some stupid refund. And they're saying that the, the value of the refund was correct because they were overpriced. He did not ask for that. He asked for his items back. He didn't ask for a refund. So this is really, really stupid and really horrible on their part, but there's more. Now here we can see that he said that it's a marketplace and he said that it's, you know, he should be allowed to decide what he, what his items are worth and it shouldn't be up to the developers uh, to decide on based on some arbitrary values what the items are worth. And uh, he's asking how it's fair. He doesn't want the money, he wants the skins back. And the person just says, I'm sorry, but it is impossible. That is so stupid. It's not impossible to get the skins back. You're obviously trying to scam them out of the money for some stupid reason and trying to scam them out of the skins. And this is just a really, really dumb response. And there's even more past this as well. Now here we can see a recurring message that he actually gets about how it's the final decision of the developers, which is not true at all. It's the final decision of the person listing the item. That's how a marketplace works. A marketplace brings together sellers and buyers, and a seller should get to decide what he wants to sell his item for to get the most amount of profit. And obviously, if this person is putting their item up for an obscene price, that a buyer will never pay, then no one's ever going to buy the item, and so there's no problem there in the first place. So obviously it's his choice. It's the person who lists the item's choice to decide what the item is worth. It is not the decision of the developers of CS Money or whatever. It's the developer. If the developer decides that the item is worth something, they have to actually make sure that they go through the person who listed the item first to decide if they actually think it's fair to list it for that price. This is completely out there, completely BS reasoning, and it's obvious they're doing something very shady here. Now, here's uh, this is actually the, the second time that the original poster actually contacted the support. So this is the second time that he's done this, not the first. And uh, they actually said that they can't help him at all. And uh, he's, at, he's saying, why sell the item? It should be returned to me if it was overpriced, which is you know perfectly fair. That's completely logical. It definitely should be returned to him if it was overpriced. And they say, I'm sorry, but it's impossible to return items. That is definitely untrue. Why, we know that CS Money can send items through bots and stuff like that. They obviously have the ability to do so. And it's not like the bot that he's trading with is trade banned. He actually checked that as well. It's not actually trade banned. And even if it was trade banned, they should get a full refund for the items that he put on there because that's what they're worth. So this is a stupid post. It's really, really dumb. And it's not the final decision of the developers. It's the final decision of the seller, like I've been saying. And then finally, one of the last sort of relevant posts here is this final comment here where they say, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact. I'll be glad to assist you. Have a nice day. This is really, really, really dumb. Obviously, they are not understanding what he's trying to tell them. They are breaking their own terms of service by doing this. And uh, they're just 
overall being terrible, terrible people. And uh, I think there's one more thing I do want to talk about, and that's the comments replies to this post, because there's a few more little shady things that are thrown in here and there that I want to discuss as well before we finish this video off. So the first comment here is from a moderator of the GoTrade subreddit, and he's telling him to submit as much information as possible to them through ModMail. So this is actually really good because this means that CS Money could get unwhitelisted from uh, Global Offensive Trade, which will make a huge dent in the amount of people that are actually using it because so many people use GoTrade and they see it as a whitelisted item. They can also make a lot of, you know, good announcements out to the public that CS Money is doing something shady like this. So if this does prove to be like a fully true story and he wasn't, you know, fabricating anything here or there, then obviously they'll be able to blacklist the site and they'll say it's not, you know, true. So the next comment here is actually from the Terms and Conditions. So they actually recently updated their Terms and Conditions and I think that it actually will play in to why this whole situation actually happened in the first place. So it actually says in their Terms of Conditions that they basically own every single right to the item that you give them. So basically their Terms of Conditions says if you send them an item, if you trade them an item to sell on their marketplace, they own the item in all aspects. <clears throat> they can decide the price of the item, they can decide what they want to give you for the item, they can decide all of that they can decide what percentage they take of the item once it's sold like they basically own the item in all senses and they are not obligated to give you a refund or anything like that that is terrible business practice it's a terrible piece of the terms of service it does not protect sellers whatsoever so why would anyone want to go and sell on cs money when stuff like this is happening so if you are a seller on cs money keep this in mind and do not use the site if you want to sell because this kind of thing can also easily happen to you so guys that's pretty much all the relevant information to cover on this new sort of drama i guess that's appearing i don't want to become a drama channel but this is a very important thing that you guys should know about because if you are watching my videos and learning how to invest and stuff like that cs money can be a valuable resource for people because it's a trade bot and you don't have to go through a bunch of different extra processes in order to get your items at the correct time and the correct way so stuff like this is very very important especially considering how uh, much of an impact cs money actually has on the overall community so hopefully you don't have a negative view of me because of this um, i also wanted to say just like a full statement here cs money has not responded to this uh, post or this like overall like exposition at all so the we don't really have their side of the story there could be something that the person who's writing the post is leaving out so don't like fully decide on your opinion of it but i would say just uh for contingency purposes refrain from using the site until we have more information about what is actually going on here so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video thank you for being informed on this kind of thing i'm not going to ask you to like like or subscribe this uh like or subscribe to this video because this is just relevant information that you should have as a trader in csgo so uh, with that being said thanks uh, so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video peace